Yo. Welcome to another Synfig tutorial. So in this one, I'm going to be explaining bones, how they work, and the parent-child relationships between bones. So here I have two illustrations. And I'll be using these two illustrations to assist me in, exp in my explanation. So we have one of a parent and the, the other of a child. And in my layers panel, I've named, labeled them father and son. So this big guy here is the father and this small one is the son. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create a bone. So right click, well, right click anywhere in this space here, new layer, other, and click on skeleton. And so now I have my bone. Okay, so let's take a look at the properties for the bone. So here we can see that the bone has a name. It's called bone two. And you can click here and change the name to whatever you want. Below it, we can see that it says parent. And over here, we can see no parent. That means this bone has no parent. Okay. And it's, you know, it's out here by itself. So um, that's obvious, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create another bone from this bone. So right click anywhere on the bone, well, right click any of the points on the bone and click on create child bone. So when you create a child bone um, from a bone, that bone automatically becomes the child of the, the main bone, okay, which is the bone that we created it from. So if we move this bone, we can see that the child bone also moves. And I'm actually going to rotate this a bit. So I'm going to rotate this by minus 90 degrees. And also if we rotate the bones, the child also rotates. Okay. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and attach these bones to these illustrations here. But before that, I'm going to label them so we don't get lost. So I'm going to, to label, just click on the bone that you want to label. And we can see that it gets highlighted over here. So let me just scroll down. And I'm going to name this uh, parent. Oops. And I'm going to call this one child. So name child. Okay. So now we have the parent and the child bone. And I'm going to go and connect them to their respective illustrations. So here I am on the parent and I'm going to connect it to the, well, the parent bone, which is the, fa uh, sorry, not the bone, the parent illustration, which is the father. So I'm just gonna go out and connect them now. Okay, so now my bones are connected and we can test them out to see if they're actually working. So let me move this. So when I move the parent bone, the child also moves. So we know that's working and the child can also move by itself. Okay, great. So that's good. So everything is working, All right? Now, of course, one parent can have more than one children. And uh, to create another child, just click on the parent bone and right click and click on create child bone and we see it has another child now of course i don't have another illustration for this child but we could duplicate this and then attach it to this bone but uh for the sake of time i'm not going to do that but i'm just showing you that you can a parent can have multiple children now a child um can have a ch another child but uh that sounds weird so let's say this child is now grown okay it can have a child of its own so uh, first, let me undo this bone that I just created. And to create a child from this child, just right click on the, the bone itself and click create, create child bone. And now this child that is now grown and married <laughs> as a child. So when, whenever I move, so this is now the parent of this bone. So whenever I move this bone, this bone also moves. But notice that the main bone, which is the parent, which I guess is now our grandfather, our granddad, uh, if I move him, we see that all the bones also move. 
moves. So this is the master of all these, well, the parent of all these bones. Okay. So yeah. Uh, so I'm going to actually undo that. Oh, let me just use this time to tell you how to delete a bone. You can actually delete a bone by clicking on the bone. And so this is the this bone. So I'm just first thing you need to do is just close up all the the items underneath that bone and then right click and click on remove item smart and then that bone will be deleted okay so um, you can actually remove the child from the parent so that the, ch the parent is no longer the parent of the child and to do that click on the child bone and then where it says parent if you click here we are presented with a drop down list so if I click on this right we can see all the bones that I've um, well that I have or I have created um, and to remove it from being a, a child of that parent just click on none and we can see that it is now removed from being controlled by the parent so if I move the parent the child is no longer being controlled by the parent uh, let me rotate this bone by minus 90 degrees okay and then position it here so notice when I removed it from being the, this uh, parent's child, it it got um, rotated, right? Because it's no longer following the rotation or the the transformations of the parent, right? So that so now I I'll, I'll have to just adjust it. Okay, so it's now independent of the parent. Uh, the cool thing is that we can actually make the child the parent of the parent <laughs> so uh, to do that you need to create click on the the bone that you want to be a child which is the parent bone okay so this is the parent bone and if we go to its properties we can see it has no parent well both of them has no parents so let's give it the parent of the let us give it the let me see if I can say this correctly let us make the child its parent so let me click here the drop down list and just click on child and it's all the way out here but let me actually rotate this by let's say 90 degrees oops let me zoom out each time you disconnect or reconnect a bone certain rotations fall out of whack so uh, just give me a sec to fix this maybe zero okay yeah, so rotate it by zero and it's okay now. All right, so now if I move the child, we can see that the parent also moves. Okay, so no, no, the labels don't make no sense, but you get the idea that you can actually switch the parent edge of the, the bones, if that's a word. Okay, and of course, the parent, which is not a child, can move independently. So, I mean, that's pretty much all you need to know about bones, right? Auto disconnect them how to delete them how to rename them you know and um how they actually work all right so i hope this tutorial assisted or helped someone out there um and that's that's it for this one and i will definitely see you in the next one Yo.